Welcome back to Fallout 4 of a heavy TF2 playthrough. Get the fuck out of my room! Oh, never mind, it's baby. You can be in my room. Sorry. <laughs> I don't I don't like when the cats be in my room, so I have to yell at it whenever it walks in my room. Anyways. Uh, please. Thank you, Twitch, for being kind of fucking stupid. You bring them more on. Hi there, baby. How are you? Are you full of hatred and anger towards the world? You are, aren't you? She is so full of hate. Anyways, you gotta go kill the railroad now. Hey, I got new power armor because I got this is Dance's power armor because yeah, I fucking die. We fucking executed that man. Hi, Maxon. Door's open. Captain Kells, I must talk to you. Hey. Okay. Also, I noticed the audio is fucked again, game-wise. Let me uh, let me plug my mic back in. So Proximity sensors green, getting a three-second ping down. Is my audio not working seriously? No, okay, it's working now. You can check on Virgil now. Okay, how much ammo do we have for our shotguns? 54, 195, okay. I'm gonna try not use my minigun too much. Hi, baby, welcome to the stream. You jumped up, literally up here. Or Old North Church. It shouldn't be too hard because I will have other Brotherhood soldiers with me. I love just painting a can, just seeing like its body like scrunch up slightly when you like go to pet it, and then like unscrunches as the pet goes through it. So it just looks like a big blob of fat, essentially. It looks like there's a ball. Why is your fur right here weird, huh? Why is that? Why is it stuck together? You worry me sometimes, baby. You know that. Sorry, I'm just interested in what's wrong with my cat right now. What's wrong with my cat right now is, uh... The fact that she does not have the brain cell anymore. I'm pretty sure Railroad also has used power armor, or like... Heavies is what they're called. Dr. Carrington, hey bud, you remember me.
Nah, but you don't understand. Everyone's dying in the church today. Your first and last mistake was doing melee instead of shooting me. Pretty sure we will. Victory for the Brotherhood indeed. We are so fucking good. Baby, sit down. You're blocking my view. Killed a member of the Brotherhood, all of you are dying. I was gonna let like at least a few of you live, but now everyone's dying. I'm lying by the way. No one is gonna live. Yeah, keep shooting me. Find out what happens. You ain't killing me. My controller batteries are low, that's not good. Damn it, baby. Come. Hold on. You gotta move now. You're being a problem. Sit on the bed. It's sad that Deacon has to die. If, if only he knew the right side to join. Yeah, keep praying to God, ain't gonna help you. He's on our side today. Glory, you gotta go first. Do I have any jet on me? No, I do not. I do have medics, though. I didn't have medics. I also have some Nuka-Cola. Psycho. Here's my water. Well, you did. Deacon, you'll die last. This is my only mercy towards you. Did you pick up the minigun? No, I'm sorry, but Deacon had to die last. Deacon, if you stand down now, I will execute you mercifully. No? You don't want to do that, Deacon? We're gonna pick up Daz's railway spike? Okay. Have fun, Deacon, in hell.
Oh, yeah, I managed to grab extra ammo out of that as well. Do I have the railway spike on me? I don't know. The railway gun. I do have the railway rifle. Okay. All these supplies are now for the Brotherhood. And well, that's it for the uh, railroad. We managed to smuggle. Ooh, oh my god! Yeah, we managed to smuggle a decent amount of ammo from that. That's nice. Standing. Ah, okay. Deacon's not really one of my favorite characters at all, but I don't really care for him too much. World. Yeah, you guys don't, didn't really lose money. You guys are lucky I was here to help take some damage. You guys lost my, like maybe one or two people during that fight. Captain Kells will be proud to hear what has happened. I do need to take some Addictol, because I'm currently addicted to uh, do some shit. Captain Kells, hey bud. At a Victorium. Let's go. Uh, put another perk into. Put perk. Let's put another perk. Let's put a perk into blown water because three percent less damage is always nice. I have some weapons for you. A lot of 10 mil. Some decent weaponry. Uh, a laser rifle that was run from, from, from one of our fallen brotherhood members. Rest in peace. A few Molotov cocktails, a pipe pistol. I'm keeping the railway rifle. Fuck you. Uh, a lot of short hunting rifles. Short pipe. That. Tactical hunting rifle, you know. Give you all this ammo, 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 give you all this ammo. 
Give you all this ammo. Keep keep fresh this ammo. And with that, I will now buy from you. I'll buy from you. Let's say I'll buy around a thousand dollars in worth of caps of your of this five mil. And then I'll spend the rest of the money that I have on on the shotgun shells. There we go. Oh, hey, what are you doing down there, Ingram? So let's go. Also, my I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna put some new batteries in, and also plug my mic in to try, try and get the audio to work for the game again. Whoop. Okay, hopefully everything's working now. Yeah, no game audio's not working yet. I don't fucking know why. I don't know why this is just a Fallout 4 problem. It just is. Or Inform the Institute. No. I think this is the fi your final option, because the moment you hop onto that very bird, you are enemies of the Institute, and the moment you inform the Institute, you are an enemy of the... You are an enemy of the, uh, fucking... Well, uh, of the, uh, Brotherhood. Like, basically, this is, like, the no-turning-back point for both their quests. I board that Verter bird, it's over for my run of the Institute. I inform the Institute, it's over for my run of the bro Brotherhood. What's my arm rat right now? What's my arm rat right now? Okay, yeah, I can take, take plenty more hits. Bored bird bird. Now I feel sin for tension. I felt mass fusion. I can't believe it. Banished from the institute. Returned to the institute. Man, nah, man, that's like a. Side quest, like maybe like a few things. Why are there bullets up there? This is a, this is a super immune base. You're able to tell it's super immune base because of all the flesh bags outside. There's mass fusion. The city in Fallout 4 is just more of a nightmare to navigate than anything. But at least there's like no invisible walls blocking you off. For like certain areas, like it wasn't Fallout 4. Luckily, there's a minigun, I'm able to use it.
you know, you you think they would send like some better since and send like Gen twos or whatever, like send like Gen twos or whatever sending at us. I am a victim. Are you a victim of violence, bud? I'll take all of your armor as well. Fuck you. Now, normally what we do, what you would do here, is you would like, I don't know, fucking check this area out or whatever. But however, there is another way down. Where is a good neighbor? Good neighbor is right there. I'm gonna jump down. Try to find the entrance. Oh hey. Where's Massachusetts entrance? There's the entrance. Yeah, it was like cheese made to have an entire section if you have power armor. Hello. Sensor meeting. So I do need that key card up there first. <laughs> but luckily I made a quick save right there. Directly into the building. Hostile sensor reading. <laughs> okay, you have fun, Ingram. Yeah, there's really gonna be a pretty bad problem down here. A Sentry Bond 2 Saltrons is the problem. This is another trick tricky section of the run, right, for a lot of reasons. The main hard part about this run is just the fact that, like, you can't really... Like, if you just, if you're unlucky or whatever, like, you can have Ingram do some damage, but Ingram will go down eventually. Usually, what would be a smart thing was to put, like, 
like usually for speedruns or whatever, like some form of it, like gameplay, like if you're just doing long form gameplay and you have like a bunch of grenades on you, will frag mines. What you would want to do is you would want to put a bunch of frag mines here and here, because this is these are where the assault trons spawn. The moment those assault trons e exit, they just get blown up and they're both dead. They just have to worry about the uh, rather large and angry sentry bot that you had to deal with. Unfortunately, heavy TF2 does not use grenades, so we're kind of been we're kind of fucked in that department. Radiation levels are dangerously high in there. Let me know if you need any radiation protection. I'll communicate with you through their intercom system while I monitor everything from out here. Now it's a smart thing to do. It's like, it's like, like 50,000 Radax right here. Yep, that Radax is countering it slightly. A few more, a few more Radax won't hurt. Now, we have to prepare for this fight. Buff out. Medic, I'll use jet because I need to like pop, quickly like pull out my fucking shotgun. What drug am I currently on right now? Uh, buff out medics. Do I have any other drugs that are performance enhancing? Vent hats. Orange vent hats, I guess. I'll need a sweet roller too. And potatoes. Sugar bombs. Overheat, 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 overheat. Come on, overheat. Come on. You gonna overheat or what, bud? Hello? There he goes. Finish overheating. Come on. I guess I'm just gonna fucking kill you normally, I guess, then, because you're not gonna fucking overheat at all. Normally, normally how you fight a sentry bomb in this game is you wait for it to overheat, run behind it, and then fucking shoot it in the fusion course for massive damage. 
But for some reason, this guy's a little bitch who won't overheat at all. I do not want you uh, shooting me with the laser. Ingram did do these internal damage, though, for against that. Against a sentry bot, which is useful. I don't think I will. I'm helping out the Brotherhood here. <laughs> My God, you killed Jeff. Not fucking I forgot how fucking annoying fighting melee enemies in this game is. Hold on. I'm here to help. Before I leave, before I leave this area, I'm gonna do go grab a thing real quick. Just all the way up there on the next floor. I think it's a strength bobblehead that's up here. Which is why I want it. Usually this building's full of gunners at first, but after once you reach a certain part of the story, the gunners are swapped out for whatever faction you're fight you're going against. There we go. Yep, my strength is permanently increased by one. Well, before I return, I'm gonna go repair on my armor real quick. 
chick got beat up. Now we gotta go fight the institute. Just so I have like a full set of sin farmer in storage. Stupid. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go sell my shit real quick. I have a pretty one. Attention all personnel. This is to serve as a reminder. Scribe Naraya's mole rat subjects are not pets. They are crucial military resources. As now such, they pets. are not to be fed by any personnel save Scribe Naraya and her team. Any violation of this policy will result in severe discipline. Don't question where I got all the institute rifles from. No, but I have more laser weapons that you can like sell to, I don't know, but one of the proctors or whatever, so they can like study it. You're kind of a stupid cat, aren't you, baby? She's a, she's extremely stupid. All she does is just lay on my laptop like for like hours on end. There's not a problem with that. She's like she's kind of stupid. What are you doing up there, Ingram? Here I go. I hope you guys are ready for a war. This is to finish off the entire heavy playthrough. It's only downhill for all the other mercs. Scout will by far probably be one of the easier ones to do because his ammo is so fucking available. Then there's, then there's uh, all the other mercs, which is kind of an more annoying to do. Then there's sniper, and I guess, uh, yeah, then there's a sniper, it's just gonna be hell to do. Yeah, fall in line. <laughs> I'm pressing the button.
Okay, it took us, it's gonna take us forever to put them back on, bud. I just realized something. Prime might get stuck on some of the terrain. Am I the only one following Prime? Okay, Raiders, uh, no stole Raiders, stay the fuck inside. Also, Prime's not immune to damage, just has a million health. I'm just gonna let him do all the work. Yeah, he just has to step near them, they die. Uh, one of the mods I have on adds like these new trees in or whatever, so I'm hoping that the mod creator didn't like just like re edit the models of all the previous trees and didn't like fucking add trees himself across the entire map, which would be a nightmare to do. <coughs> Alright, Prime, you got them. Thank you, Prime. I yeah, know, you guys are good. Okay. Usually, you have like an entire army of you for a section. Thank you, Prime. Prime is stuck. Oh. Revised stratagem initiated. Aquatic. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna like fucking wait for him. I'm just gonna teleport over to close this thing to CIG ruins. Just wait for him to appear there. Oh, there he is. Prime! Hey, bud. Sorry I left you, but, uh, you and it yourself. There's a cool scene that Prime does where he, like, grabs a super being behemoth by the head and fucking chucks into a building. But, 
Prime was like kind of stuck there for a bit. I didn't want to like wait for him. Yeah, th this part of the game is just more of like wait around, wait for everyone else to do shit. Heavy's tired of carrying the team. Everyone, they got to carry themselves now. Now use my armor for cover. Uh, I don't. I don't think we gotta worry about the synths on Prime. Maxim, sir. Why? Are you, why are you not in power armor? I. I, I know. You, I know you have infallible drip, sir. But like. Oh. Yeah, there's guys here, guys. I'm just once again, I'm just letting them handle it. Did that man pick up an institute rifle just to kill him the synth with it? Ingram's here. Institute, we're coming in. One of the funniest ways I think you get into the Institute in this game is, but is when you like. So every other faction, the railroad, railroad and brotherhood, like brotherhood fucking blows their way in there. The railroad uses you as like a key, the key in by like having like you like over like having you teleport them all in or whatever, and teleport and teleport, teleport since out. And then there's, and then there's just the Minutemen who just go through a fucking sewer system. Which I think is the funniest fucking thing possible for that. He's proceeding as planned, Paladin. Uh-huh. I got... I got 205 x 205 XP. Let's take another perk into. Let's put it into a uh, life giver. Let's put, let's put it into more toughness. We, you can never be too tanky as the as the tank from as the fucking tank that is heavy TF2. Max, we're in the back rooms of the Institute. Oh, yeah. Uh, these turrets are, like, the most are the scariest turrets in, like, the entire game. Actually, not, it might not be these turrets, but it's, like, it's some, it's one turret area that's, like, fucking horrifying to go up against because they just do so much damage and they shoot so fast. Maybe those turrets? <coughs> Over here. They just that man's dead.
I'm like if I'll just like walk down here like oh god you're in trouble oh <laughs> I don't know why but that just reminded me of the video where like this this guy fucking hit, hit a kid like like piss fucking pistol up the kid in Fallout 4 and then like the kid ran away and said leave me alone and then fucking Nick appeared out of nowhere with a flamethrower and just fucking torched them You get him, Maxon. Maxon's winning. He has the power. We have the power of bullet and laser. They win that fight. No. Oh my God. That's why. That's why I have so much fucking minigun ammo now. Sentry bots. Holy shit! Completely forgot. Yeah, I have just so much ammo now. I'm still gonna save and punch things to death. I'm saving all my minigun ammo for a certain part of the institute. That room has like a bunch, like two legendary sins in there, which act as like the final bosses. Bioscience have like so many fucking entrances to it. Does no one work over here in bio? Does no one work at this part of bioscience? Do they just like does like people come up here like occasionally for like a quick drink from that Gwyneth ale bottle? I don't know why I'm using ammo here. <coughs> I don't think Maximus has ever seen a fucking gorilla. Bioscience has been compromised. Force her down. Oh, that's legendary. Was a legendary. <laughs> Sentinel's baseball bat. Take 50% less damage while standing up. That, but yeah, it's fucking lovely. I'll take that. We, 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 should, we take everything off of Courser. I was making more sense. I, th I think what happened here is that, like, uh, the Institute sent, like, all their sins to, like, just try and deal with, like, us, like, while they were coming. And then they kept, like, behind all their, all their coursers, or, like, sent their courses out, like, all on remissions or whatever. We, like, we just slowly picked away at them one by one.
Not pick five dream about Bob here and get banned. Okay. Son. Well, bye, son. You have a... Your password is fucking easy, but it's a novice team. Like is a one. Tap, tall. Like a zero. Okay, so it's not T. Can't be, can't be, can't be gain either. Uh, we can eliminate three as well. Could be, could be bean. Like zero, so it's not, so it's not the E either. Actually, no, I, I fuck, I already clicked on team. That was a waste. So if it's like that's a one, then it's not the T and A. It can't be. It, it's either the A or M, and there's there's from I could select, which might be it, but I don't think it's from. Where are you from? Let's try it. Got it. It was. Well done, Director must be acquired. Looks like a path should be clear to the reactor. And I am happy to report that reinforcements have arrived. Oh, what happened to this guy? You guys hold up a line. I'm going in. Like, this place looks fucking horrible. Let's get this done, pal. Uh.
Here's the first bomb that makes sense. Now, the second problematic sin has a rocket launcher. You take care of them, Maxon. Rapid combat shotgun, yeah, fuck yeah. Oh my god, here he is. Come down. Assassin's synth chest piece, extra professor missile, screw your grenades, watch yourself, take your electric launch as well. You guys fought well. But you didn't fight hard enough. I'm leaving behind my son. Dr. Ringo. Attention all personnel. Evacuation order issued. Authorization signed. Y, R, 3, 1. Please have this coverage to your assigned evacuation point. All right, Ingram. Fire it up. All right, Ingram. Fire it up. You're not my you're not my son. Yeah, no, I'm not taking my son. That goes into everything I fucking say. And thus, this playthrough is basically over. Oh, and it's a full bright day outside. Defeat Everyone's awake. You restore order and decency to the cops. It's time. The Institute and their sense of abominations must be eradicated. Well, the answer is correct, chat. You can in fact beat <laughs> you can in fact be fault for as heavy from TF2. Oh, it's fucking beautiful. Diamond City got a bit of smoke in it. There's a raider camp over there. They just, <laughs> they just were like, what the fuck?
And that's it for Fallout 4. Tomorrow I will start up a new playthrough of Gotham Knights because I don't I think my guys can feel it wash over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this. Before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant. And the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. The, not the road like that, ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. He fucking said it. Hey, Maxon. Excuse me, Elder Maxon. And there we go. The nuclear option. That's gonna be two level ups. Oh, close to level ups, my god. Oh, we have two level ups, though. Uh, life giver, more heavy damage. But yeah. That is it for Fallout 4. Well, that's... There <laughs> was two level ups in fact. But yeah. Fallout 4, one of the games of all time, I must say. Even though a lot of people shit on it for, like, basically being a lot different than other Fallout games or whatever, I think it's still the best Fallout game ever made. Because, yeah. Well, duh, it's, it's, of course it's the best. I think Mass Fusion is the tallest building, actually. You're able to see like every location, even if it's like low res. For example, you can see the lighthouse over there. Like you know, that's that's the lighthouse over there. That's the uh, that's the place that's selling ghoul poison food. And there's Fort Strong. There's a Pridwin and all its low quality glory. Wait, this is kind of fucking hilarious. You're able to tell that like. It's low poly or whatever, mainly because, like, as I move, you're able to see, like, like everything fucking move with me as if I'm, like, right there on the ground. Like, this might just be a distance thing, but I'm pretty sure when you're this high up, the game switches over everything else below you to be, like, a smaller scale or whatever. Like, obviously, all these buildings near us are, like, still full res and, like, still the actual thing. But I'm pretty sure everything else is just, like, extreme low quality and, like, far away. Is I'm pretty sure of that. For example, the water. Uh, but yeah. This fall game is definitely one of the... One of my favorites to play through. I recommend everyone play, plays through it instead of fucking New Vegas for a tenth time in a row. Be, be better. Play different games. Instead of like playing the same fucking game over and over again. You're, you're allowed to, you're allowed to, like, not like a game, but, like, at least try the game, or at least get your opinion from, like, of the game from, like, 
several different people, not just like people that you know. Try and find people who have like different opinion on the game or whatever. Don't just like base it off of like one fucking thing, like so many of you fucking people do. And that's one. That's one of the things that pisses me off is people like will shit on a game, then and like your only opinion on it is like from a fucking YouTuber who shits on like every game they play. Like, damn, bro, I didn't know- I didn't know you can't form your own opinion about like, fucking Pyrocynical or someone telling it to you. I don't think Pyrocynical does that, but hey, fuck that man anyways. I'm gonna start drama with that man. If I ever become a big YouTuber, I'm gonna start drama with him on purpose, cause fuck him. Anyways, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Remember, follow my Twitch website, you can join Discord, follow my Tumblr, uh, check out my DVR as well, where I post stories occasionally, and yeah. I will see you all tomorrow for some Gotham Nights. Goodbye.